For this question we want to consider the points A which has coordinates negative 4, 2, B with coordinates 1, negative 8, and C with coordinates 1, 2. For part A we want to determine the equation of the straight line passing through A and B. So before we get into finding the equation we're just going to start with a quick sketch. So we'll start with a set of axes where this is the x axis and the y axis. And next we're going to locate the coordinates A, B and C. So A is at negative 4, 2. So this could be negative 4, 2 just here. So that point there is A, negative 4, 2. And B is 1, negative 8. So 1 could be here and negative 8 down here. So this is B, which is 1, comma, negative 8. And C, just so that we have it, is at 1, comma, 2. So that is this point here. So that C is 1, 2. Now what we're asked is to determine the equation of the line passing through A and B. So that would be this line just here. And to do that, we're going to start by calculating the gradient of that line, which is equal to the rise over the run. Or algebraically, that's y2 take y1 over x2 take x1. So that is going to equal y2 could be 2. So we're going to do 2 subtract negative 8, which is the second y value of the coordinate b, divided by negative 4, the x value here, minus the x value for b, which is minus 1. So evaluating that fraction, we get 2 subtract negative 8 is positive 10, divided by negative 4 subtract 1 is negative 5. And that will simplify down to negative 2. So now that we know the gradient of the line and a point that the line passes through, we can find the equation of the straight line, which is what the question asked for. So we're going to look at two methods for doing this. So the first method uses the equation y equals mx plus c. So what we want to do first is substitute in the gradient. So this is going to be y equals negative 2x plus c. Next, we substitute a point for x and y. And in this case, we're going to use a is negative 4, 2. However, you could also use b and you get the same result. So we're going to sub in negative 4, 2 into that equation, which gives 2 is equal to minus 2 times negative 4 plus c. So therefore we find 2 is equal to positive 8 plus c. So therefore c must equal negative 6 when we subtract 8 from both sides. So therefore the equation of the straight line is y equals minus 2x minus 6. So that is the equation of the straight line we were asked to find. Next we'll have a look at a second method. And this method uses the equation y take y1 equals m times x take x1. So once again, we sub in the value of negative two for the gradient, but we also replace x1 and y1 with a coordinate point. So for this one, we're going to sub in the other coordinates. So we're gonna have y subtract negative eight is equal to negative two times x take one. So for this method, we've subbed in the point one negative eight in this position here and here. So therefore, we find that y plus 8, because there was two negative symbols here, that becomes positive, is equal to negative 2x plus 2. And all we've done there is expanded those brackets. So subtracting 8 from both sides gives y equals negative 2x subtract 6. And that is the same equation that we found before. So either one of those methods finds the equation of the straight line through a and b. For part B, we know that the perpendicular distance between a line and a point is the minimum distance between those two objects. For part 1 of this question, we want to find the equation of the straight line that is perpendicular to the line AB, which we drew in blue before, and passes through C. So in other words, we want to find the equation of this line, and of course that could be extended beyond there. But at the end of the day, we're actually going to be looking for the length of that green solid line that's, that's just been drawn in. So we know that if two lines are perpendicular, then m1 times m2, so the product of their two gradients, is equal to negative 1. Another way of putting that is that the second gradient must be equal to negative 1 divided by the first gradient. So on the previous slide, we already found that the first gradient was equal to negative 2. So the second gradient must be equal to negative 1 divided by negative 2, which is equal to positive a half. 
Next, our job is to find the equation of that straight line that goes between C and is perpendicular to AB. And to do that, we can use the equation Y take Y1 equals M times X take X1, which you saw used in the previous part of this question as well. So to use that equation, we're going to substitute in what we know. So we're going to have Y subtract and this y1 is going to be the y value of the coordinate c, so it's going to be subtract 2 is equal to positive a half times x subtract x1, which is the x value of c, so 1. So just to reiterate, this value here was the gradient of the perpendicular line. This 2 here was the y value of the point c, and the 1 here was the x value of the coordinate c. So next we want to solve for y, so we get therefore y minus 2 is equal to x divided by 2 minus a half. So we've just expanded the brackets on the right hand side. And then we're going to add 2, which is the same as 4 over 2, to both sides of the equation. So therefore y is equal to x over 2 plus 3 over 2. And the reason why we had to add it as a fraction 4 over 2 instead of just 2 is so that we had a common denominator to add to that negative a half. So that is the equation of the perpendicular line to AB that passes through C. For part 2 of question B, we're asked to hint show that the point on the line AB closest to C has coordinates negative 3, 0. So we've already been told that the perpendicular distance between a line and a point is that minimum distance. So that means that we're looking for the point of intersection between the green dotted line and the blue line that goes through AB. So previously we found that the blue line had an equation y equals minus 2x minus 6. And then we were instructed to find the equation of the perpendicular line, which is this green dotted line, which has the equation y equals x over 2 plus 3 over 2. So to find the point of intersection, which will give the point closest on the line AB to the point C, we're simply going to let those two equations equal each other. So we're going to have minus 2x minus 6 is equal to the equation of the green line, which is x on 2 plus 3 over 2. And to solve that, we're going to start by multiplying both sides of the equation by 2. Therefore, we find that minus 4x minus 12 is equal to x plus 3. So the reason why we did that is we've now got no fractions to deal with while we solve this equation. So to solve this we're going to add 4x to both sides of the equation and that will get all x terms into one position. So therefore we find that minus 12 is equal to 5x plus 3 and then if we subtract 3 from both sides we find that minus 15 is equal to 5x and next we can divide both sides of the equation by 5 to get x by itself. So therefore we find that x is equal to negative 3. To find the y value we simply sub that into one of the equations. So I'm going to use y equals minus 2x minus 6. So therefore y is equal to minus 2 times negative 3 minus 6. So therefore y is equal to positive 6 minus 6 which equals 0. So therefore we found the coordinate that we were asked to find which is at minus 3, 0. And that turns out to be the point on the line AB that is closest to the point C. So that is, it's the point that has a perpendicular distance from the line AB to C. So for part 3 we're going to calculate the distance between C which has coordinates 1, 2 and the point we just found which is negative 3, 0. And that calculation will give us the minimum distance between the line AB and the point C. So to find the distance between two points, we can use the equation that says that the distance is equal to x2 subtract x1 all squared plus y2 subtract y1 all squared, which comes from Pythagoras' theorem. So we could label these points as x1, y1, and x2, y2, just to keep track of each of the values. So therefore, the distance that we're asked to calculate would equal the square root of, and then x2 would be minus 3 subtract x1, which is 1, all squared, plus the y values difference, which would be 0 subtract 2, all squared, and that would be equal to the square root of, 
and then this first one would be minus 3 minus 1 all squared is minus 4 squared which gives 16 plus negative 2 squared is 4 which equals the square root of 20 however the square root of 20 can be written as the square root of 4 times the square root of 5 so the simplified third for the distance is going to equal 2 root 5 because the square root of 4 is 2 so the minimum length between the line AB and the point C is 2 root 5.